Hi, my name is Charles Kaplan. I'm a professor at the State University of New York at Old Westbury, and this is a video on the normal distribution, a basic uh, probability, a basic concept in probability and statistics in the in the first basic probability and statistics class, and uh, often in mathemat always in mathematical statistics classes. So let's take a look at this particular problem. By the way, this is a third video on the normal distribution I've done and we'll have probably six or seven maybe eight overall that I'm doing okay here's the problem so the dispensing machine is set to dispense a mean quantity of seven ounces per cup standard deviation is 0.1 ounces the distribution amounts are normally distributed and the question asks what is the probability in part A the machine will dispense between 7.1 and 7.25 ounces of soda well we know that the mean is 7 ounces. We know that the standard deviation is 0.1 ounce. Let's take a look at the picture. And, okay, 7.0 is here in the mean. And we're interested in 7.1 and 7.25. This particular region that I just shaded. Don't forget, you should always write down what the mean and standard deviation are, and you should always draw a picture and shade the region in which you're interested. So these are our x values, and now we need to transform these values into uh, z values for the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and a variance of 1, and let's do the transformations now. So we're going to use the formula z equals x minus mu over sigma. We know that x in the first case is 7.1, mu is 7, and 0.1 is sigma, the standard deviation. This is equal to 0.1 over 0.1, which is 1.0. Uh, let's look at the second uh, value z is equal to x minus mu over sigma so we have 7.25 minus 7 over 0.1 and that's uh, 0.25 over 0.1 and if you do the arithmetic it'll come to 2.5 okay so we have areas associated with these and the areas that we're, let me draw a little diagram here. The areas in which, we're, you know, that we're going to be finding is this area right here, the area, the central region. So we're going to find the area associated with uh, the 7.1 from 7 to 7.1, and then we're going to find a region from 7 to 7.25. So let's see what they are. The z of 7.25 and z of 7.1 oh actually I should probably put z of 0.2 of 2.5 and z of 1.0 no big deal okay so let's uh, let's see what's going on here let's go to a z table in the back of a textbook I know you can't see it but you can probably follow along so we'll go down to the left hand side under Z and we'll go to 1.0 and we come over one column to 0 0.00 and we see that the Z value, the area associated with the Z of 1.00 is 0.3413 so let's, uh, that's this area right here So that's 0.3413. And then the area associated with 2.5, we're going to go down the Z column to 2.5 and over 1 to 0 0.00. That area is 0.4938. So that's 0 0.4938. Let's write that up here. 0 0.4938 okay so well let's go to our little picture here we know the total area under the curve 
is 1.0. We know that the area to the right of the mean is 0.5, and we know the area to the left of the mean is 0.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 0.5, or I'm sorry, so we're going to take the area from 7.0 to 7.25, which is 0.4938, and we're going to subtract off the area from 7.0 to 7.1. That's 0.3413. And that will give us this sliver of area in which we're interested. So let's go down here. 0 0.4938 minus 0 0.3413 that area is 0.1525 so let's go back up here this area is 0 0.1525 so again let's take a look at how we did this we had the mean value given to us and we we're interested in 7.1 and 7.25 we calculated z values for 7.1 and 7.25 they turned out to be 1.0 and 2.5 respectively we took the area associated with uh, 7 to 7.25 and we subtracted the area associated with 7 to 7.1 that gave us the area from 7.1 to 7.25 and that calculation was done down here 0.4938 minus 0.3413 and that turned out to be 0.1525 so this area here is 0.1525 let's go to question B question B asks us what the probability is that the machine will dispense more than 7.25 ounces so we know that mu is equal to 7 and sigma is equal to 0.1 and this question is asking us this we have our value 7.25 here and it wants to know what the probability is that the machine will dispense uh, uh, an amount of soda greater than 7.25 ounces so again we're going to have to make a transformation to the standard normal distribution and to do that we're going to use z transformation but we know that from the, the mean has a z value of zero and when we calculated the z value for 7.25 in part a we came up with a z value of 2.5 the way we got that was we used our z transformation x minus mu over sigma which is 7.25 minus 7 over 0.1 which is 0.25 over 0.1 which is 2.5 now we know that the total area under the curve is 1.0 we know that the area to the right of 7.0 to the right of the mean is 0.5 so if we take 0.5 and we subtract off this area here which we know from the prior problem is 0.4938 that'll leave us with 7.25 so we're going to take 0.5 minus 0.4938 and that's going to give us 0 0.0062 and that's this area so what we did was we calculated the z value associated with 7.25 that's 2.5 we know that the total area to the right of the mean is 0.5 we looked up the area associated with this region here from 7 to 7.25 and got 0.4938 we took 0.5 minus 0.4938 and that gave us 0 0.0062 by the way these z values these are standard deviations the units the units here in this particular problem are ounces but these units always with the standard normal distribution are units of standard deviation so 7.25 is 2.5 standard deviations from the mean okay let's go to part c Part C asks, what's the probability the machine will dispense 
less than 7.1 ounces of soda. So we know that mu is equal to 7 and sigma is equal to 0.1. So this problem is saying, look, we have 7.0s, I mean, 7.1. Look, what's the probability the machine dispenses less than 7.1 ounces? And that's all this area here. Now we have the mean over here. Let me color this in a little bit. And we have the cutoff point at 7.1 up here. We know from part A that the Z values associated with 7.1 is 1.0. The way we got that was we used our Z transformation formula. Z equals X minus mu over sigma which is 7.1 minus 7 over 0.1, which is 0.1 over 0.1, which is 1.0. So this area, the area associated with a Z value of 1.0 is 0.3413. Well, we know that the area to the left of the mean is 0.5. The total area under the curve is 1. The area to the right of the mean is 0.5, and the area to the left of the mean is 0.5. So, and we know that the area from the mean, 7.0 to 7.1, is 0.3413. So we're going to take 0.3413. Let me scooch this up a bit. We're going to add on this area, 0.5, and that gives us oops, 0.8. 4, 1, 3. So this total area for 7.1 and below is 0.8413. And that takes care of part C of this problem. So my name is Charles Kaplan. I'm a professor at the State University of New York at Old Westbury. This is the third video in a series of what is about seven or eight videos on the normal distribution and this particular continuous probability distribution. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you leave a positive comment. Uh, and take a look at the other videos on the normal distribution as well as all the other videos that I have up there. Uh, anyway, I wish you all good health and good happiness and a lot of luck. Bye-bye.